to my channel. Avarkum in the channel like Swakadam. So today we will be continuing the part 2 session of contrast medium. Moving on to the fifth question. Which type of contrast medium forms a suspension when mixed with water? Option A, barium. Option B, gadolinium. Option C, iodine. And option D, micro bubbles. The answer is option A, barium. Now let's see the explanation. Barium sulfate is in a class of medication called radio opaque contrast media. It works by coating the esophagus, stomach or intestine with a material that is not absorbed into the body so that diseased or damaged areas can be clearly seen by x-ray examination. So the radiological investigation for esophagus is barium solo, stomach is barium meal, small intestine is barium meal follow through and large intestine is barium enema. So the whole of the upper GI tract or the lower GI tract can be examined by using the contrast medium barium sulfate and it comes under a positive contrast medium. Now let's see the next question, question number 6. What is the primary contraindication for the use of barium sulfate? Option A, hemorrhage. Option B, dysphagia. Option C, perforation. And option D, all of the above. The answer is option C, perforation. So perforation is the primary contraindication for the use of barium sulfate. It means perforation means hole. Now let's see the explanation. Barium sulfate products are contraindicated in patients with known or suspected obstruction of the colon, known or suspected gastrointestinal tract perforation, suspected tracheoesophageal fistula, obstructing lesions of the small intestine, pyloric stenosis or known hypersensitive to barium sulfate. Contraindicated means in which all cases the barium won't be given to the patient. So these are the conditions where the contrast medium barium is contraindicated. Now let's see the seventh question. Barium sulfate is used to image which body system? Option A urinary tract, option B gastrointestinal tract, Option C, reproductive system. Option D, biliary system. The answer is option B, gastrointestinal tract. Now let's see the explanation. Barium sulfate is used to examine the esophagus, stomach and intestine using X-ray. It works by coating the esophagus, stomach or intestine with a material that is not absorbed into the body so that diseased or damaged areas can be clearly seen by x-ray examination. So the main advantage of using barium as a contrast medium is that it is not absorbed by the body. It is easily excreted through the motion of the stool. Now let's see the 8th question. What is the casual binding energy or the K edge of iodinated contrast? Option A 33.2 keV. Option B 37.4 keV. Option C 140 keV. And option D 33.2 kVp. keV means kilo electron volt. kVp means kilo voltage peak. So the answer is option A, 33.2 keV, kilo electron volt. Now let's see the explanation. Iodine has a particular advantage as a contrast agent because its casual binding energy of 33.2 keV is similar to that of the mean energy of diagnostic radiographic B. Consequently, it will have an increased attenuation compared to the anatomical structures that surround it. So the K-edge binding energy of iodine is 33.2 keV. 37.4 keV is the binding energy of barium, another commonly used X-ray contrast medium. 
Now let's see the ninth question. Soluble non-ionic radio-opaque medium has increased radiation absorption resulting in increased radiographic opacity. Option A true, option B false. The answer is option B false. Soluble ionic radio-opaque medium does increase radiation absorption resulting in increased radiographic opacity. Means water soluble contrast medium is classified into two that is ionic and non-ionic about its adverse reaction I have discussed in part one session. So the ionic radio-opaque contrast medium will produce an increased radiation absorption resulting in increased radiographic opacity. Moving on to the 10th question. Contrast agents. Option A. Evaluate raw organ function. Option B. Supplement or confirm informed gathered. Option C. Differentiate between internal organs and diagnose structural abnormalities. Option D. All of the above. The answer is option D all of the above that means the contrast medium evaluate the organ function in the case of excretory uh, means ivp that is intravenous urogram we have studying the organ function supplement or confirm the informed gathered as well as it will differentiate between the internal organs and diagnosis structural abnormalities by whether the contrasts have enhanced or not Moving on to the 11th question. The positive contrast medium is administered orally and comes in either a liquid, pasta or powder. Option A, soluble ionic. Option B, barium. Option C, air. Option D, soluble non-ionic. The answer is option B, barium. Now let's see the explanation. Barium sulfate comes as a powder to be mixed with water a suspension liquid, a paste and a tablet. The powder and water mixture and the suspension may be taken by mouth or may be given as an enema that is liquid that is instilled into the rectum. And the paste and the tablet can be taken by mouth. Barium sulfate is usually taken one or more times before an x-ray examination. So, barium comes under a positive contrast medium and air comes under the negative contrast medium. In the case of barium enema, we will be giving both barium along with air for a double contrast study in order to uh, determine the mucosal pattern. Moving on to the 12th question. Soluble ionic radio-opaque medium can be used in cases when there is a suspicious of perforated bowel or ruptured bladder. Option A true, option B false. The answer is option A true. That means when there is a suspected perforation or ruptured bladder, we will give a soluble ionic, that is water-soluble contrast medium will be given. Barium is contraindicated with GI perforation, that is gastrointestinal perforation means halt. Use a water-soluble contrast medium if perforation is suspected. Moving on to the 13th question. DASH investigates bladder rupture, bladder wall abnormality, cystic calculi. Option A is Cretary urography. Option B, myelography, option C, cystography and option D, upper gastrointestinal tract. The answer is option C, cystography. Cystography investigates bladder rupture, bladder bowl abnormalities as well as cystic calculi. Now let's see the explanation. In radiology and urography, a cystography is a procedure used to visualize the urinary bladder. Using a urinary catheter, radio contrast is instilled into the bladder and X-ray imaging is performed. Cystography can be used to evaluate bladder cancer, vesicourethric reflux, bladder polyps and hydronephrosis. 
this some another pro radiographic procedure to evaluate the vesicle urethric reflex is maturating cystourethrography mc with that i am winding up today's session hope today's session is more clear if you have any queries you can just whatsapp me i'll be giving my whatsapp number as well as my email address in my description box those who have not yet joined my app can join i'll be sharing the link of my application also in my description box for android as well as for ios users even you can purchase my book my book uh, is also available uh, only 199 is the cost for the book uh, along with the shipping charge so stay tuned for my next upload until then stay safe and stay healthy bye bye